Welcome to Cisco Training Videos. My name is Trevor. The topic for this video is going to go in depth into connection lookup. Connection lookup is the third phase of the packet inspection process Cisco ASA firewalls perform on incoming packets. Cisco ASAs implement stateful packet inspection. Stateful inspection means that the ASA firewall examines and keeps track of the state of each connection successfully or unsuccessfully attempting to go through it. If a connection from an external host is allowed through that firewall and the connection is not dropped by an access list, then that connection will form. The Cisco ASA keeps track of all of its current connections using a connection table. Once the connection table entry is created in the connection table, a flow is then established for that source and destination connection. All return traffic will be inspected and will immediately be permitted through that existing flow in the connection table if all the parameters for that return traffic match the initial connection. All right, let's say for example, the external host A is gonna issue a TCP connection to the internal host B on the inside of the network over TCP port 443. This connection is gonna be sent inbound on the firewall. The firewall is going to inspect that traffic and it's gonna go through all the different phases for incoming packets. Once it gets permitted through, it's going to then create a flow in the connection table. The return traffic is going to match that flow because it's destined for host A and the source is host B and it's returning content that was requested over port 443. Since all the parameters match for the return traffic, the return connection is going to match that flow in the connection table and get permitted through the firewall back to the external host A. The behavior and activity of the packets from the source and destination must follow the rules of the IP protocol that is being used. If the connection state or the behavior of those packets deviate from what the ASA defines as accepted behavior, the ASA will drop the connection and the incident will be logged in the device's logging buffer. Keep in mind there is a connection idle timeout period. The timeout period is used whenever there is no data passing through one of these flows or connections. Once those timeout idle periods are reached, the connection is then aged out of the connection table. All right, let's review. Phase three of the ASA packet inspection process is connection lookup. The ASA firewall is a stateful packet inspecting device. And what that means is it's going to examine and document the state of each connection that is attempting to pass through it. Whenever a connection is allowed through the firewall, it's gonna create a flow or a connection entry in its connection table. When the return traffic is sent back, it's gonna match that flow in the connection table and be immediately permitted through the device. There is a idle timeout period for connections and whenever that idle timeout period is reached, the connection is aged out of the connection table. Thank you for watching this Cisco training video. Please leave any questions or comments you have in the comment section below.